Right. I wanted to give a, a short introduction to the syntax uh, for conditionals. Conditionals operate just as they do in lots of other languages. So we have a, a, a standard if then else uh, type of a structure. There's also a notion of else if. Um, the caveat is that Python does not surround blocks of code uh, with things like curly brackets. And instead, uh, Python infers what the block is uh, using the indentation level of, of the code. And, and this takes a little bit of getting used to it initially, uh, but in the end, it, it works out quite well. All right, I already have a new notebook uh, created here. And so let's, let's write a little bit of code here. So we'll set a variable to some, uh, some value and then ask a question about that variable. So if A is less than 50 and uh, the way that we're going to indicate that a new block is, is starting is through the colon, uh, the colon character. And Jupyter uh, Notebook will, if you hit enter here, will uh, automatically do the indentation for you. So let's, um, let's add a little bit of code here. And okay, so, so if A is less than 50, then, then we print out lower, lower than 50. So let's go ahead and execute that. And we should get what we uh, expect out of that step. Now, what happens when we uh, set this to something else? Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and set it up to 60. And in this case, nothing actually gets printed. All right, so now let's imagine a, a scenario where we want to do something uh, on the else side of this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this in uh, so that we have it uh, a nice comparison to where we started. Um, what, when you're writing code, uh, you can explicitly hit shift tab to in unindent to, to the left. And when you provide the else, uh, don't forget to add the colon there. And let's print out uh, or equal to, to 50. So in this case, executing this code, still 42 is less than 50, so we, we end up in, the, uh, in, in this block of code. Uh, if we are at 60 and I execute again, then, then I get the else case. Uh, just to demonstrate how blocks work, uh, let me add one more line of code within this, uh, this block here. So when Python sees uh, this type of code structure, it sees the colon, it starts expecting an indentation for the code that belongs within that then block, and it, and it treats every line of code uh, as part of that then block until it sees the, the uh, change in indentation. So let's go ahead and execute that. We, we end up with the else branch, but if we go to the other side, then you'll see that uh, both of the, the prints are executed in that case. Let's do one other example here to demonstrate elif. So we can, we can have a, a notion of else if. So if A is greater than 50, um, we can have the parens, we don't have to. Uh, greater than 50. And we'll add an else case here. So shift tab to uh, shift the indentation one to the left. And we're equal to 50 in that case. Uh, you can also, in this state, I'm going to add one more line of code here that's outside the if uh, else block. Uh, if you hit backspace, it will also eat the, that uh, indentation. So, oops. 
So, so by indenting things this way, this line of code is going to be executed no matter which case we're actually in. So go ahead and execute that. We end up with uh, this block of code uh, being executed and then you'll see the done is also executed. Uh, if we are uh, at uh, 60, then this middle block of code gets executed, done is still executed, and if we are right at 50, uh, then we end up with that else case. Okay, so, so let's also talk about uh, conditionals and strings. And in, in C, uh, conditionals and strings are a little bit uh, cumbersome in that we have to explicitly call library functions in order to ask questions about strings. Uh, in Python, not unlike what we see in modern versions of Java, uh, it, it handles uh, a lot of the, uh, the testing uh, for us rather than having to explicitly write out uh, library calls. So let's do a quick example of that. So we're assigning a, a variable str to, to foo, and then, and then we'll ask a question uh, about that. Let's stick with single quotes there. It's foo. Else, and uh, this is something else. Okay, so if I expect if I ex execute this, then I expect uh, this uh, string to match here, and and there we go. Uh, if I add uh, something else uh, to the end of my string, uh, then the other branch will be executed. If if I want to take the, if I don't want to test the quality of these two things, but I want the opposite, uh, then the keyword here is not. And so in this case, uh, str will match foo, but then this will become false, so we will execute uh, this branch of code. And, and there we go. So this wraps up uh, conditionals uh, and uh, and we'll move on from here.